Hey guys, so in this video I'm just going to show you the answer to the question that I posed in the Google form. So in the Google form we were de dealing with uh, the linear quadratic system given here, y equals x squared plus, four, uh, plus 4x plus 1, and y equals negative 2x minus 8. So we need to find the number of points of intersection and then we also need to find what they are, right? So to do this, remember that uh, we're going to substitute one equation into the other, right? Because we know that the y's are going to be the same value for both these functions at the point of intersection. So I'm going to substitute this equation, or that val y value basically, into there. That's going to give me negative 2x minus 8 equals x squared plus 4x plus 1. Okay, and that's a quadratic equation that we can solve, but I need to put it in the proper form. So I'm going to add 2x and 8 to both sides and clean it up a little bit, and what's that going to give us? We'll get 0 is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay, so that's the quadratic equation that I would want to solve in order to find the points of intersection. But let's, uh, let's check the number of points of intersection first. So to get the number of points of intersection, we find the number of solutions to that quadratic equation. So we check the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. So I'm going to substitute b, a, and c in here. So we get uh, 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9, which gives us 36 minus 36, which gives us 0. So since we get a discriminant of 0, we're expecting there to be only one solution and therefore one point of intersection. So to find that point of intersection, we can solve the, uh, the, the above uh, uh, quadratic equation now. So we can use whatever method we want. We can factor, we can use the quadratic formula, or whatever. This one's factorable, so I'm going to factor it. But if you want to use the quadratic formula, that's fine. So factoring out x squared plus 6, x plus 9, we're going to get 0 is equal to x plus 3 squared. Now, <clears throat> since uh, we get x plus 3 squared, we're only going to get solutions there when x plus 3 equals to 0, which tells us that x equals to negative 3. So that tells us that uh, the point of intersection that we're looking for has an x value of negative 3. To find the y value, we're going to substitute back into one of our original equations. I like to use the linear one because it's a bit easier, easier math to do. So we're going to get y is equal to negative 2 times negative 3 minus 8 by substituting negative 3 in. That simplifies to give us y equals negative 2. So x equals negative 3 and y equals negative 2, which tells us the point of intersection is at negative 3, negative 2. Take care, guys.